Assalamu alaikum dear friends, I am engineer Saipullah and you are watching 7 engineer inside YouTube channel. I hope you all people will be fine and fit. So guys, yesterday I uploaded a video on the responsibilities and duties of a site engineer. So some of you was asked about the responsibilities and duties of a KBQC engineer in a project. So our today video is based on the responsibilities and duties of a KBQC engineer at site or in a project. So I will uh, give you a brief detail about the responsibilities and duties of our KVQ engineer about documentation or about the site. So the main duty and the main responsibility of a KVQ engineer is the implementation of the project quality plan and quality management system in the project. But all the uh, this, uh, project quality plan and uh, quality management systems is divided in some work. Some are in uh, site work and some are documentation. So I will start uh, the duties of the KVQC engineer from the office work. That what are the documentation or what was the office work for a KVQC engineer. So all of people you know that uh, the basic things are like WIR work inspection request. This is a document which when the site engineer and site team complete an activity and they will hand it over to the QC engineer or quality control engineer. So after that when the QC engineer went to the site and check the work at as per quality and as per specs and as per drawing. After that he submit a document which is called WIR work inspection request. He submit work inspection request to the consultant. After that the consultant inspector or consultant engineer come to site and he did the uh, in, for the inspection. So the first documentation which uh, KVKC should know is about is WIR work inspection request and some people are in some project it's called RFI request for insp inspection. So this and now let's come after work inspection request the second document which is the most important and is the main responsibility of KVQC uh, is MIR material inspection request whenever you receive the material site so first we have to check it by yourself that material is per approved vendor and approved supplier and is approved MIR after that when you get satisfied from the material then you have to submit MIR material inspection request to the consultant then he will they will send the inspector a the engineer from the consultant side to inspect the material. Now, the other documentation is method statement. The KVQC engineer is a responsible person who will prepare method statement for all the activities which are uh, going on at site. In method statement, you have to give a brief detail about the activities, about the safety, about the material, about your organization chart, your main power, and all the full detail of our activity you have to put in the method statement so also this is a responsibility this is a document which should be prepared by the QAQS engineer after the method statement you have to also prepare ITP ITP inspection and test plan for an activity you have to prepare ITP for activity that which type of test should be done in the activity which type of inspection should be done in this activities for that activity you have to, have to prepare ITP inspection and test plan now when you are sending WIR, MIR and you are making method statements so it means you have to keep the record of all the documents for keeping record of all the documents you have logs logs and the excel sheets you have to update the logs for the WIR, MIR, method statement, NCR, observation report everything for all your documentation you have to keep this in the record for that record you have logs so you have to update that logs time by time day by day to keep the documentation and keep your record in a proper way so it's also a responsibility to updating the uh, logs of MIR, WIR, the statement and any other documents sorry now if you are doing work and by mistakenly uh, the site uh, team didn't complete the work as per the uh, standards as per the quality plan so maybe they will receive an NCR from the consultant when the site team receive an NCR so the KVQC engineer is the responsible person to close the NCR. So how he will close the NCR? First he will put aside, he will check the activity and he will try to get the root cause of the NCR. Then he will give the training or he will give the instruction to the site team to complete the work and rectify all the work. After rectification of the work, he will submit the close out of the NCR. So the submitting the close out report for the NCR is the responsibility as a also KVQC engineer and he will update the log for NCR, it's closed or open, whatever. 
before getting the NCR from the consultant, you have to do the surveillance of the site. When you are going to check the site, if the site team is doing anything against uh, drawings, against the specification of the project, against the standards, against the quality plan, so you can, you have to issue them an internal NCR. So issuing the internal NCR is also a responsibility of a QA QC engineer. You have to uh, check all the site time by time to check the quality of the uh, to implement the quality plan at site and at the project properly. Sometimes the consultants come to site without informing you for a general site uh, surveillance when he, they saw some things going on against the work or the people are doing the activities and properly sometimes they issue the observation report. Observation report they have to the consultant put their observation in a proper form format and they will send that observation report to you so when you see that observation report so you have to go to the site and you have to close that observation you have to re rectify all the work you have to do the corrective action for that observation and then you have to submit the observation report for that observation so this is also a responsibility of calculus engineer to close the observation reports car car mean corrective action reports so whenever you find anything, uh, whenever you get this uh, NCR or observation report for the any activity at site, so you have to make corrective action report. To closing the observation, to closing the NCR, you have to make corrective action report for that. Like how you will close the observation, how you will uh, close the NCR, what will be the, uh, the method you have to use, what type of material you should be used and that works. So you have to make a correction report and you have to submit that correction report to the consultant. Quality plan. Mostly, if the QAQC engineer is senior, so mostly KVQC engineer is responsible to prepare a quality plan for a project. So the preparation of quality plan for a project is also responsibility KVQC engineer and it's also in some projects it's also done by the uh, quality managers but it's also responsible so it's better to uh, read about the quality plan, study it and then after that studying that you can prepare a quality plan. MEB clearance, whenever you are going to complete the when are you going to submit WIR work inspection equipment for any activity and there is an MEP utility so you have to take the MEP clearance from the MEP department to make it clear from their side then you can submit your WIR otherwise the consultant will reject your WIR if you didn't attack the MEP clearance for the MEP utilities. RFI if there are some any documents missing in your work or if there is any missing information so you can submit RFI here RFI use request for information you can submit a request for information RFI for the missing information and missing document to the consultant so after reviewing your RFI by the consultant you will get your information or document site instruction report when you went to the site and check the site and if you found any observations so you have to make a site instruction report and give it to the site team to follow that instruction and follow the quality plate site. These were the some documentation and some site and the sorry some office work for a QAQC engineer. So I will just summarize it. The documents should be prepared by QAQC engineer WIR. Work inspection request, MIR, material inspection request, method statement, ITP inspection, uh, inspection display, update the log, updating logs of WIR, MIR, method statement, NCR, and etc. Closing up NCR if you get uh, any NCR you know, for, for your site activities or any other activities. Closing up observation report from the consultant, making corrective action reports. Quality, preparation quality plan, making uh, MEP clearances, RFI request for information and site and, uh, instruction report. Now, what a KVKFC engineer will do at site? What is the, side, the responsibility of a KVKFC engineer at site? So whenever you are uh, going to submit MIR material inspection request, so before that you have to go into the store area, store yard to check the material that this material is per approved vendor approved supplier and approved manufacturer and approved material request MAR material approved request if it's everything is okay so you have to submit the MIR it means that you have to do the pre-inspection of material and so also when you are going to submit WIR work inspection request you also have to go to check the site work before the 
uh, inspection of the consultants. We have to do the pre-inspection of all the activities, all the work before bringing consultant to the site. You have to witness different tests. All the tests related uh, to site, if it's from civil, electrical, whatever, it's, it depends upon on your department and your uh, qualification. So, like I am a civil engineer, so whatever test going on site, if it's FDT test, testing for concrete so you have to witness all the tests you should be there in the time of testing at sites so you are the responsible person to keep record of all the tests and witness all the tests and the other thing you have to witness the concrete casting whenever there is a concrete casting so you have to witness that concrete casting that is concrete casting as per uh, quality and as per ACI codes and general surveillance whenever you are getting time so you do, so please go to the site check the site check all the activities if they are going to going against the quality plan against the course and specification then inform them give them instructions or make an instruction site instruction report for them and hand it over to them so it will be you will get your responsibilities good so now the site responsibilities and pre-inspection of our material pre-inspection of work witness of different tests, witnessing of concrete casting and general surveillance. So guys, if you find my video informative, so please subscribe our YouTube channel, like my video, share it with your friends. And if you have any issue related to such a videos, just do it, just uh, comment it in the comment box. And all the documents which I mentioned here for KVK by document by document, I will I make a different uh, videos on these documents and I will share also the formats with you to uh, get the full knowledge about the QAQC engineer documentation. Thank you so much.